Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on lead chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with this game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off this game and see how it goes. We've got the white pieces here. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4. Oh, interesting opening, f5. I'll play bishop f4. Pawn to e3. Okay, so tie him a bishop so I can come back to g3. I hope my opponent knows what he's doing because otherwise he's going to get into a lot of trouble very quickly. I'll play pawn forward to h4, stopping him from playing it at h4 himself, trying to kick my bishop somewhere else. Do I have a good square here as well? Ah, uh, free pawn. It is something, uh, something. I hope he knows that he has already lost it because I'm coming here with the rook first. He saves the rook. What if I just plant my bishop as well here? I don't want this free pawn for now. I want a discovery attack on the queen by playing pawn forward. Okay. He saves that. But I take the pawn now. I'm attacking the knight with my queen which I doubt he saw. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done this. Oh boy, oh boy. This is getting over. Much faster than anyone thought. There goes the knight. Plus nine and he resigns. Can it get any easier than this? Move number 13 and your opponent resigns. Let's see why did this happen. It simply happened because of a bad opening prep by my opponent. He didn't know how to play against the London. I played d4. He played f5, which for the first move is giving a lot of advantage to the white straight away. Asking for troubles. I developed my bishop on f4. Played knight f6. I got e3. Then he tries to move the knight again. So he's breaking laws again and again of chess. So you, you can't just move your same piece again in the opening. So he does that and denies his development. So I play bishop g3. Again, that's bad for him. And then he plays h5. Again, a bad move. I countered up with h4. Here, my opponent plays g5. That was the worst move ever played in the history of chess because it then gives me a free pawn in the opening and asking for more troubles. I had a choice here to take that pawn with the bishop or take on the pawn, uh, the edge pawn. I went for the edge pawn, taking with the rook, asking for rook exchange, which he denied, of course. And then I placed my bishop on h4, uh, hoping that I can play pawn forward and have a discover attack on the queen. Uh, and then he tries to pin my pawn there. I took out the pawn. He takes the pawn with the bishop. I take bishop. Then he takes the bishop with the rook. And what? He loses the queen by my, my, me playing the rook down on h8. And then he takes the rook and loses the knight as well. <laughs> so he lost everything uh, in 12 moves. And that's what can happen to you as well if you don't develop in the right way. So make sure that you are playing right moves. Uh, I have a video on how to play against the London system as well. I'll share the link of that as well so that you can refer to it. But definitely this is not how you should play against the London. Because you're going to go down like house of cards in 13 moves. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A lot of fun games around here. Lots of learnings as well. And I hope you improve your game uh, watching these videos on a daily basis. Thank you so much for your time again. Take care. Bye-bye.